In this screencast, I'm going to talk about using the Solver tool and the Goal Seek tool within Excel. I'm going to do that uh, using ethane as an example, and I'm going to do it using vapor pressure, but recognize that I could also use the same techniques, for example, to search for a particular volume of a particular route. Say I wanted to have a volume of 20,000 cubic centimeters per mole. Goal Seek and Solver will help me do that. All right, I'm going to look for vapor pressure at 150 Kelvin for ethane. And remember, you've got some, some guideposts here. We know that we need to be below the critical temperature and below the critical pressure in order to get three real roots. And so we kind of know where the boundaries are, and, and zero is our lower limit for vapor pressure. If we look at this condition that I've got here, the fugacity ratio is 8.7 which is actually the vapor relative to the liquid. In order to get a good first guess, which is always necessary when starting with a solver tool, I can do that manually. And liquid fugacities are pretty insensitive to pressure. And so let me try something near this. I'm going to try 0.01. And you can see that's a pretty, actually pretty close to the vapor pressure. I can then use Goal Seek. And to do that, I'm going to find that under the Data tab. And it's under What If. And it allows me to adjust. I'm going to adjust the fugacity ratio to a value of 1 by changing the vapor pressure. And there's the answer. You can see the fugacities are equal. And I found the answer. Now, there's another tool called Solver, which can be more powerful, but it's also more susceptible to complexity. All right, So let me set this back to something near the vapor pressure. And I find it under the Data tab. And if it's not installed in your configuration, look at the textbook website under the Software Support for some help on getting Solver installed. All right, now the first thing that happened here was that it told me that this worksheet is protected. And I've got to unprotect it before I can run the solver tool. So to do that, it's under the Review tab. I can unprotect it. And now I can run Solver. And Solver pops up with a memory of the last conditions used. The last thing I did was adjust the fugacity ratio. All right to a value. Notice Solver is much more powerful. I can also look for maximum and minimums. I, in this case, I'm going to look for a vapor pressure. Always have to clear this cell. And then I'm going to take uh, vapor pressure. And previously, saturation temperature was done because I've got a temperature constraint. I'm going to delete that. Okay. I do know the vapor pressures need to be positive. So I can check this cell. And then I can click Solve. All right. Now, you can see that it did not work. Let's look at the uh, screen behind us and see what went wrong. All right. You can see what happened was that it tried to go all the way to zero. All right. And of course, things go crazy when pressure is exactly zero. So I'm going to restore the original values. OK. And I'm going to guess again. All right. So I pull up uh, Solver. I don't have to reset this top stuff. But what I'm going to do, I can turn this off. I'm going to make it constrained so that pressure is small but positive. All right. So I'm going to add a constraint such that the pressure is greater than or equal to something that's small and finite. This will only happen if you're very close to zero. OK, now it found a solution. And indeed, it found the vapor pressure. 